sapuhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ko po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw ng ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. A pleasant day, grade 8 students. I'm Catherine Advincula from Dalandana National High School. Welcome to PE Time with Ma'am Kat. Before we start our lesson, let us be reminded of our FB live streaming class etiquette. Be on time. Avoid unnecessary comments in the chat box. No hate speech. Stay focused and avoid any interruptions. Take down notes while listening or watching. And lastly, have fun and enjoy learning. Are you excited to learn class? That's great! Let me first present the most essential learning competencies that you are about to learn today. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to execute the skills involved in the sport and display tolerance and acceptance of individuals with varying skills and abilities. In the previous lesson, you have learned about the physical activity and physical fitness assessment as well as basketball under team sports. You have also learned about the skills, nature, and background of the said sport. Before we proceed to our class discussion, let us have First, a review on the previous topic in physical education. All you need to do is to guess the video clips being shown and comment your answer in the chat box. You will be given 5 seconds in each item. Are you ready? Let's start! Number 1 Nice guess! The answer is... Dribbling. Number two. You got it right. The correct answer is shooting. Number three. Excellent guess. The answer is rebounding. Number four. Incredible guess. The answer is passing. Number five. The correct answer is running. Amazing job, class. It shows that you still remember and understand the topic last year, which is basketball. Before we proceed to our new topic for today, let us first check your prior knowledge by answering this pre-assessment for picks one word. I know that you are all familiar with this game. Just guess the specific word that fits to the four pictures presented and comment your answer in the chat box. You will be given five seconds in each item. Are you ready? Let's start. Number one. Timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is gloves. Number two.
If your answer is batting, great. Number three. Time is up. Amazing. The correct answer is pitching. Number four. Timer starts now. If your answer is home run, excellent. Number five. Timer starts now. Time is up. Fantastic. The correct answer is catching. Good job, class. I think you are all ready to learn something new about team sport. Many people mistakenly assume that because the fields and equipments look similar, baseball and softball are same sport. Let's find out their similarities and differences. Baseball versus softball. One of the major differences between the two sports is the equipment they use. The balls. Softball are larger than baseballs. While baseballs have circumference of 9 inches, softballs have a circumference of 8 to 12 inches. The bats. If you look closely at the bats of baseball and softball players use, there is a subtle difference there as well. The barrels of most softball bats are wider and longer than those used for baseball. The fields. The size of baseball and softball fields also differs. On the baseball field, the bases are 90 feet apart, while on a softball field, they are 60 feet apart. Distance of pitcher's mound to home plate. In baseball, the ball is pitched from an elevated mound that is 60 feet away from the plate. However, in softball, the ball is pitched from a flat pitching circle that is no more than 43 feet away from the plate. In pitching styles, in softball, the ball must be thrown underhand, whereas in baseball, the pitch is almost always done overhand or sidearm. The main difference in how this game is played are the techniques by which the ball is pitched to the batter. These two sports require the four main skills, throwing, including pitching and fielding, catching, batting, and base running. Some of the rules in baseball and softballs are similar too. Let's proceed. What is team sports? It is an activity in which a group of individuals on the same team work together to accomplish a goal which is usually to win. It includes any sports which involves players working together towards a shared objective. The history of baseball in the United States dates to the 18th century, when boys and amateur enthusiasts played a baseball-like game by their own informal rules and homemade equipment. In 1830 to 50s, the popularity of the sports grew and amateur men's ball club were formed. The game evolved from older bat and ball games already, being played in England by mid-18th century. By the late 19th century, baseball was widely recognized as the national sports of the United States. In 1898, the Americans introduced baseball in the Philippines. Alexander Cartwright devised the set of rules in baseball, in which most of the rules are still being used in the game until now. Like any other sports, baseball is played by two teams with nine players 
who alternately plays the offense and defense, exchanging places when three members of the batting team are put out. The goal is to score more runs than the opponent, which is achieved by one circuit of four bases that are placed on the diamond field. The team that scores the most run in nine innings wins the game. To develop the skills in playing baseball, the first skill to learn is pitching, also called the battery of the game. To start the game, the pitcher must pitch the ball to the batter. It demands more exact coordination of mental and muscular abilities and more continuous physical exertion than any other position in the game. Pitching skills won't develop by just throwing the ball, but good pitching takes good practice. Pitchers can learn by throwing at the target, facing a hitter, and use a consistent and correct delivery. To pitch the ball towards the batter, just remember the proper grip of the ball, the wind-up, the smooth delivery, and a follow-through. Second is throwing, the launching of ballistic projectile by hand. It is used in many sports, particularly ball games, and in throwing sports action is the main determiner of the outcome. Throwing is the most important basic skill needed for a good fielding player. Having the right throwing technique will let you hit your targets with more consistency. The important things to consider in throwing are the following. Get into position. Aim the ball before you throw it. Wind up your arm. Move your body forward with your throw. Maintain eye contact with your target. And have a strong follow through. The third skill is catching. This skill requires not just strong physical abilities but also quick and precise decision-making. In a game, catching properly not only prevents you from being injured, but it is also makes it easier for you to prepare to throw the ball. Catching and throwing are both basic defensive baseball skills. Your ability to catch and throw fast helps you to throw a base runner attempting to advance to the next base. These are the procedure for you to achieve a good catching. Position your body. Watch the ball. Go to the ball. Position your glove. And catch the ball. Fourth is hitting or batting. The most basic baseball skill. The sports are mainly about hitting the ball with your bat. It is also the best part of the game. It is hard to hit a round ball with a round bat into a specified area of the ground. The batter has only split second to react. A good batter needs great hand-eye coordination, a fast reaction time, good timing, and confidence. To execute hitting or batting in baseball, Stand and bend your knees slightly while you grip and raise the ball. Shift your weight and take a stride. Keep your eye on the ball and aim to hit the ball. Slide or swing your hands towards the ball and follow through. And the fifth skill is base running. It is a skill that wins the game and the core of every physical sport. Good base running is about being fast and smart. The goal is to move around the bases quickly and get a run. A strong and aggressive base running can put a lot of stress on the defensive team. It is important to always know and understand the current game situation. Base running is an important part of baseball and scoring runs. As a player, you should know which way to run the bases.
the first base, the second base, third base, and home plate. They need to run in that order in the field. As soon as the batter successfully hit the ball, he will immediately run and touch the first base. A base runner needs to complete the circuit of bases and touch each base and home plate in order to score a run. A run is equivalent to one point for the team at bat. It is one of the necessary skill-related fitness component to master in playing baseball. It is important for the baseball player to process what he sees and use it to calculate his skills in baseball pitching, throwing, catching, batting, and base running while considering the urgency of time. Most baseball players focus on their baseball hand-eye coordination and other parts of the body as well. Let's proceed to the equipment. First is the baseball bat. A smooth, rounded, solid, wooden or hollow aluminum bat. It may be no more than 2.75 inches in diameter at the thickest part and no more than 42 inches in length. Second is the baseball gloves and mitts. It is a large glove, traditionally made of leather, worn by baseball players of the defending team, while the leather meat worn by the catcher. Third is the ball. A rubber or cork spear, tightly wound with layers of yarn or string and covered with a stitched leather coat. The circumference is 9 to 9.25 inches and weighs between 142 up to 149 grams. Next are the bases. One of four corners of the field which must be touched by a runner to score a run. More specifically, they are canvas bag at first, second, and third base, and a rubber plate at home base. Lastly are the safety gears. A protective helmet with a face mask, throat guard, full length chest protector, athletic supporter with a cup, shin guards, meat, and cleats worn by the catchers. Let's continue to the playing area. It is also called as the diamond field because of the shape of the infield. It has two main parts. The first part is the infield. It is the area from the grass line into the home plate, also part of the field closest to the bases, and is where most of the action in the game of the baseball takes place, consisting of the dirt area that contains the three bases, first base, second base, third base. The home plate and the grass area within this dirt and the pitcher's mound. The second part is the outfield. The grassy area of the field and the farthest field from the batter, comprising the left field, center field, and right field. Did you learn something, class? That's great! I have here a guess what activity about the nine positions of baseball players playing the defensive team. Bring out your paper and pen. Number your paper 1 to 9 and try to guess the positions of each player. You will be given 30 seconds to answer. Timer starts now. Up. These are the answers. Number one, pitcher. Number two, catcher. Number three, first baseman. Number four, second baseman. 
Number five, third baseman. Number six, shortstop. Number seven, left fielder. Number eight, center fielder. And number nine, right fielder. I know you got a high score for this activity. Great job, class! Another activity for you to enjoy, class, is BB or SB. BB stands for baseball and SB stands for softball. All you need to do is to comment BB in the chat box if you think the illustration, GIF, or image is related to baseball and comment SB if it is all about softball. Five seconds will be given to you for each number. Are you excited? That's cool. Let's play ball. Number one. BB or SB? Timer starts now. Comment your answer in the chat box. Time is up. The answer is BB. Number two. BB or SB? Timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is SB. Number 3. BB or SB? Timer starts now. Time is up. The answer is SB. Number 4. BB or SB? Timer starts now. Time is up. The answer is BB. Number 5. BB or SB? Timer starts now. Don't forget to type your answer in the chat box. Time is up. The correct answer is BB. Excellent job, class. Always remember that we need to participate in any kind of team sports like basketball, volleyball, and baseball. It is said to strengthen the five C's, competence, confidence, connections, character, and caring. At the center of this is self-esteem, an increased sense of self because of better social interactions, stronger relationships, and higher academic performance. It is also improves the function of your lungs and heart and help you lead a healthier life. It's quiz time! Now that you have learned the concepts of this lesson, let's put your knowledge to the test. Answer the following questions by choosing the letter of the correct answer. You may write your answer in the comment section below. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each question. Are you ready? Let's get started. Number 1. He devised the set of rules in baseball. Choices are A. Alexander Cartwright B. Alexander the Great C. James Naismith D. William Morgan Timer starts now. Time is up. Good job. The correct answer is letter A, Alexander Cartwright. Number 2. An activity in which group of individuals on the same team work together to accomplish a goal. Choices are A. Batted sports B. Dual sports C. Individual sports D. Team sports Timer starts now. Time is up! Amazing class! The correct answer is letter D. Team sports. Number 3. The skill in baseball that requires not just strong physical abilities, but also quick and precise decision making. A. Base running. B. Catching. C. Pitching. D. Throwing. Timer starts now. Time is up. 
Time is up. The answer is letter B. Catchy. Excellent answer. Number four. The part of the field closest to the bases. Choices are A. Home plate. B. Infield. C. Outfield. D. Pitcher's mound. Timer starts now. Time is up. Great. The answer is letter B, infield. Number five. What is the skill in baseball that wins the game and the core of every sport? A, batting. B, base running. C, catching. D, hand-eye coordination. Timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is letter B, base running. Congratulations! Your great participation made me happy and proud, class. Before we end this lesson, I have an assignment for you to do at home. Your performance task in PE. This second quarter is entitled, Catch and Throw with My Fam. You will enjoy this activity because it will help improve your body coordination and strengthen the bond of your family as well. Here's the mechanics for you to follow. Number one, make an improvised or DIY baseball. It can be made of old socks, old cloth, old foam, and many more with a diameter of four inches. Number two, Invite one of your family members to do the throw and catch. Number three, in three to four meter distance, execute five consecutive throw and catch with your palm. Number four, record your actual video performance and send it to your MAPI teacher. This rubric will serve as your guide to measure your performance steps. Your score is 10 points if you successfully execute the 5 consecutive throw and catch. 8 points if you execute 4 throw and catch only. 6 points if you execute 3 throw and catch only. 4 points if you execute 2 throw and catch only. And 2 points if you execute 1 throw and catch only. I'm sure that you will get the perfect score. Good luck, class! Once again, this is Ma'am Kat, your PE teacher, sharing you this simple quote from Juliana Hatfield. Baseball is more than a game. It's like life played out on a field. Stay healthy and be fit. Have a nice day, everyone, and see you in our next live streaming class. God bless us all. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's session. Here we are again for a fun learning experience. I am excited to share with you the insights about postnatal care and responsible parenthood. Come and join me in Balizuela and Belay. I'm Serenate Kabanganan from Gente de Leon National High School, your health teacher. Let's start our discussion with full of enthusiasm. Before we start, I would like to go over a few items so you will know how to participate in today's discussion. Here are some reminders.
The next thing I share with you are the most essential learning competencies. So allow me to give you competencies that you are about to learn. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to discuss the importance of newborn screening and the APCAR scoring system for newborns. Discusses the essential newborn protocol known as the Puning Yakap and the advantage of breastfeeding for both mother and child. Recognizes the importance of immunization in protecting child's health. Analyzes the importance of responsible parenthood. Explains the impact of rapid population growth and family size on health of the nation. Examines the important roles and responsibilities of parents in child rearing and care. Enumerates the modern family planning methods, natural and artificial. Establishing a family is a very important decision that demands emotional, intellectual, social, physical, and economic preparation. Motherhood and fatherhood are not simply tasks for which we are naturally equipped. They require preparation and maturity. This lesson is designed for you to analyze the importance of postnatal care and responsible parenthood. To recognize the factors for successful family life, to explain the effects of family size on health, to enumerate the important roles and responsibilities of parents, in child rearing and care, and to propose ways on how to plan an idea from the sex. To build up the energy and excitement and give overview of today's topic, we have a game called Thumbs Up or Thumbs Down. Let's play Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down. Type Thumbs Up if you agree with the statement and thumbs down if you are not agree. You have five seconds to type your answer in our comment box. I hope that the instruction is clear. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's have statement number one. Parents should be role models in their children. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Thumbs up? What do you think is the answer? If your answer is thumbs up, you are correct. Very good. Now, let's proceed to second statement. Time spent with your family builds relationships among members. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Thumbs up? Are you excited to know the answer? The answer is thumbs down. Okay, keep up the good word. The next one becomes more, even more exciting. Statement number three. A few drops of blood are taken from baby's heel. Let it on a special absorbent filter card and then sent to newborn screening center. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Thumbs up. The answer is thumbs up. Amazing. I hope everybody is participating. Let's proceed to statement number four. A family is the smallest unit of society where children learn the first ABCs of life. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Five. Thumbs up. The answer is 
times. You are doing great. To those who get the wrong answer, don't worry, you still have a chance. Okay? Let's proceed to statement number five. Breastfeeding is the traditional and not ideal form of infant feeding. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Thumbs up. One, two, the answer is thumbs down. I hope everybody enjoyed our activity today. Thank you for your participation. A new baby at home is exciting, but can be scary too. Newborns have many needs, like frequent feedings and diaper changes. Babies can have health issues that are different from older children or adults. The first thing that we need to discuss is all about essential newborn care protocol aim to significantly reduce the infant deaths in the country. Protocol can be the way to reduction of neonatal deaths. This protocol will focus on the first new parts of life of the newborn. Workers and medical practitioners is providing evidence based on essential newborn care. The guidance are categorized into the time bound and now time bomb plus unnecessary procedure time bomb procedure should be first performed these are the following one immediate drawing two skin to skin contact three clumping on the cord after one to three minutes four non-separation of the newborn from the mother, and five breastfeeding initiation. And for the next time bomb, intervention includes one, immunizations, two, eye care, three, vitamin K administration, four, weighing, five, washing, six, Routine sanction and the last routine separation of newborn for observation administration. Now that you are familiar with the new essential newborn care protocol, you are ready to explore the comprehensive policy and national system for ensuring newborn screening. Newborn but babies should be undergo a newborn screening as reflected in Republic Act Number 9288, an act promulgating a comprehensive policy and a national system for ensuring newborn screening. Newborn means a child from time of complete delivery to 30 days old. What is newborn screening? Newborn screening is a simple procedure to find if the baby has a genital metabolic disorder that may lead to mental retardation or even death if left untreated. Newborn screening identifies conditions that can affect a child's long-term health or survival. Early detection, diagnosis, and intervention can prevent death or dis disability and enable children to reach their full potential. When is screening done? Newborn screening is ideally done on the 40th and 72nd hour of life. However, it may also be done after 24 hours from birth. The blood test is generally performed when a baby is 24 to 48 hours old. This time is important because certain conditions may be undetected if the blood sample is drawn before 24 hours of age. How is newborn screening done? A few drops of blood are taken from baby's heel. 
planet on a special absorbent filter card and then sent to newborn screening center. Blood test, most newborn screening is that with a blood test to check for rare but serious health condition. Where is the newborn screening available? Newborn screening is available in hospitals, lie-ins, rural health unit, health centers, and some private clinics. If babies are delivered at home, babies may be brought to the nearest institution offering newborn screening. Where are newborn screening results available? Result can be claimed from the health facility where the newborn screening was available. Normal newborn screening results are available by seven to four working days from the time samples are received. A negative screening means that the MBS result is normal. A positive screen means that the newborn must be brought back to his or her health practitioner for further testing. How will you assist a newborn baby? Act for score for assessing newborn screening are the following. For the criteria, we have color, pale or blue, we have zero, pink body of blue extremities, one, pink body and extremities, two, for heart rate, absence of heart rate, we have zero, less than 100 beats per minute, one, greater than 100 beats per minute, two. For respiration, we have absence of respiration, zero, slow and irregular, one, good breathing with crying, two, for reflex response, we have zero for absence of reflex reflex response, one for greenance or noticeable facial movement, two for calm, missing or pull away, and for muscle tone, we have zero, absent of muscle tone, one for some flexion and extremities, two for active or spontaneous movement of lips. I hope that the criteria for assessing newborn are clear. Do you have any question or point of clarification? If none, let us continue our discussion. In this presentation, I will discuss the unang yakap and breastfeeding. Unang yakap is a simple and evidence-based interventions that may be helped in ensuring the survival of a new born and young infant. This compasses interventions such as ensuring warmth, breastfeeding, love and safety, and infection control. This protocol is now practiced in birthing centers and hospitals. The only cup was really conceptualized in order to have early initiation of breastfeeding. So that, so how early is early? As early as delivery. The newborn is placed strate strategically on the mother's breast so he will be able to feed immediately to keep and save the implementation of breastfeeding we have Republic Act number 7600. This act shall be known as the Rooming In and Breastfeeding Act of 1992. This thing adapt rooming is, an, is a national policy encouraged to protect and support the practice of breastfeeding. Breast milk is the best food since it contains essential nutrients suitable for the infant needs. It is also nature's first immunization. It contains 
growth factors enhance the, the maturization of an infant organ system. What is breastfeeding? It is the traditional and the ideal form of infant feeding meeting an infant nutritional needs for its first four to six months of life. Human milk is clean. Breastfeeding lowers the risk of intestinal illness and general infection. Mother's milk provides a host and protective factors, both cellular and hormonal. Breast milk contains antibodies that help the immune system of infant. What do you mean by lactation? It is the period of milk production initiated by prolactin in the mammary glands. The first thick yellowish fluid that comes out from second to fifth day after delivery is called colostrum. It should be given to all newborns because of its high protein content. After discussing the concept of breastfeeding, let's talk about the advantage of breastfeeding. The following are the advantages of breastfeeding. One, it is economical and nutritious. Two, it promotes emotional bonding between the child and the mother. Three, mother's milk has antibodies that protect the infant from certain diseases. Why is immunization important in protecting children's health? Immunization is a simple and effective way of protecting children from serious diseases. Vaccine work by triggering the immune system to fight against certain diseases. Infants are particularly vulnerable infection. That's why it is so important to protect them with immunization. Immunizations help prevent the spread of diseases and protect infants and toddlers against dangerous complications. I hope everything is clear now about newborn screening, unang yakap, and breastfeeding. The next topic to discuss is Parenthood. Responsible parenthood involves the choice of a partner, decision on how children to have, when to have, and then providing for needs to have children throughout their development. Let us proceed to the following terms. One, family. Two, parenthood. Three, responsible parenthood. For responsible parent. Let us discuss one by one. What is family? A family is the smallest unit of society where children learn the first ABCs of life. A family requires a lot of work and responsibility. Quality time spent with your family builds harmonious relationships among members. Parents should be role models to their children. What do you mean by parenthood? Parenthood is a state being a parent. Traditionally, it means being a father or mother of the biological child. When adoption is involved, the parents are the legal father and mother of the child. Parenthood is a great responsibility or task. It is a, a role which can be successfully played on the basis of tax. There are several points when thinking of parenthood. The following are the points when thinking of parenthood. One, happiness and stability of the marriage. The relationship of the couple should be satisfactory because of the child's arrival may only become another source of marital stress and misery. Two, Physical and emotional readiness of both partners for parenthood. 
a wife should be physically and emotionally prepared to give birth to a healthy child if the husband should be mature enough to carry out his responsibilities. Three, financial stability. The cost of living gets higher as the newborn child completes the family and it depends on his parents. The topic is increasingly become more exciting. Let us continue. What is the meaning of responsible parenthood? Responsible parenthood is the will and ability to respond to the needs and aspirations of the family. Responsible parenthood is the core responsibilities of the parents to provide the needs of the children they have in terms of aspect of life. It refers to the will, ability, and commitment of parents to respond to the needs and aspirations of the family and children. Let us define responsible parenting. According to Population Education Teaching Module 2009, responsible parenting is defined as a series of decisions couples making sure the best possible life for the family and for the community to which family belongs. Parenting is also includes inculcation values and instilling of discipline. The following are the duties and responsibilities of parents. 1. Provision of physical care and law. The duty and responsibility starts during prenatal stage. The physical, emotional, mental health of children depends on the quality of prenatal care they receive. 2. Inculcating discipline. Parents should be role models in inculcating discipline in their children. Children should be trained to think and reason out for themselves and be able to distinguish between the right and wrong. They should learn to accept limitations, to appreciate the value of freedom with responsibility and understand the requirements of living happily and peacefully with other people. 3. Economic security. 4. Developing social competence. 5. Opportunities for education. 6. Citizenship training. 7. Financial aspect of responsibility. And a spiritual formation. I hope everything is clear now. For the parents to respond to their duties and responsibilities, they need to consider the family size of their family. If you're going to build a family, which do you prefer? Big family or small family? Why? Let's discuss the effects of smaller and bigger family. What are the effects of smaller family and bigger family? Let's enumerate one by one. The effects of smaller family are the following. Allows the parents to give more attention and love to their children. Happier and more emotionally stable. Financially stable. More time, energy, and money left for other pursuits. Children tend to be bigger, heavier, and healthier. While the effects of bigger family are the following. Nutritional intake for member tends to be smaller. Malnutrition tends to be higher. Disadvantage in terms of physical development, prone to infections, and possible infestations. Exercise of desperation and sacrifice. There is a steep competition among siblings. Family size affects our health. 
the following are the effects of family size on health nutritional status morbidity risk behaviors utilization of health services then the following are the family planning methods natural one periodic abstinence fertility awareness method two coitus interruptus or known as the withdrawal or pulling out method three use of breastfeeding or lactational amenorrhea method The artificial family planning methods, these include two hormonal methods, oral contraceptive pills, and depopropera. I provide you with an activity that will enhance your understanding about our topic. For your performance task with the theme, good parents have good hands to touch and shape the little things that means a lot to the life of their children. Choose only one from the following options. Songwriting, poem writing, problem solving with equation, news casting, writing an article, music video, poster making, slogan making, photo gallery, essay, or love letter for your parents. Don't forget to submit your activity to your math teacher. To sum up our topic, women and newborns require support and careful monitoring after birth. Most maternal and infant deaths occur in the first six weeks after delivery. Yet, this remains the most neglected phase in the provision of quality maternal and newborn care. Being a responsible parent means waiting until the health of the mother will not be endangered by pregnancy and until both parents are emotionally mature and able to deal with the needs of a family. By waiting to get married and have children, young people themselves more time to pursue the things that can help to make them better partners. Education, employment, personal maturity, and self-confidence. Spacing the birth of children helps to protect the health of the mother and allows both parents more time to give each child the attention and affection he or she needs. The size of the family should be decided by both parents together based on their available resources and the standard of living they wish to achieve. And that concludes our lesson for today. It's now time to see if we have learned something from what we have discussed. Type the letter of the correct answer on the comment box. You have five seconds to answer its question. Are you ready? Question number one. Which among the statements given below upholds the responsibility of parents to their children? A. Choose their divorce in college. B. Choose the, their husband or wife. C. Teach them religion. D. Teach them values. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. The answer is letter D. Teach them values. You are doing great. Question number two. Why is having a small family important? A. Ensures community progress. B. Requires lesser economic needs. C. Provides for the basic needs of children for quality life. D. Secures the future of children. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Up. The answer is letter 
C. Provides for the basic needs of children for quality life. Amazing. Let us continue. Question number three. What national policy adopted for the state that encourages, protect, and support the practice of breastfeeding? A. The Public Act number 7060. B. The Public Act number 7606. C. Republic Act 7600. D. Republic Act 7660. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Time is up. And the answer is letter C. Republic Act number 7600. Let us proceed to question number four. Which of the following is not the duty and responsibility of parents? A. Controlling your children. B. Inculcating discipline. C. Financial aspect of responsibility. D. Spiritual formation. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. The answer is letter A. Controlling your children. You are in the right track. Keep working on it. For the last question, question number five. What do you call a simple procedure to find out if the baby has a genital metabolic disorder that may lead to mental retardation or even death? If left untreated, A. Breastfeeding, B. Lactation, C. Morbidity, D. Newborn screen. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And so, the answer is letter D. Newborn screening. Very good. Did you get all the answers correctly? I do hope so. Congratulations for a job well done. Always remember, honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment that may go well with you and that you enjoy long life way on the earth. You will become parents someday, and you have responsibility to articulate and live those values from your parents. Our family values are the reflection of who we are, sticking to your moral and ethical principles and values is very important. Our parents deserve respect. Once again, this is Renato E. Cabanganan. Your health teacher. Have a good day. See you on our next episode. Bye bye.